In this very short video, we're going to take a look at one of the unique things that comes up occasionally with equilibrium. And it turns out, um, well, th this is actually one of the unique things that comes up with equilibrium type 2 questions, where, you know, again, a type 2 question is asking you to come up with the value for um, one or all of the um, reactants and products at equilibrium. And this could be given an initial concentration or an initial or an equilibrium or equilibrium concentrations. And that sort of sets up the two different types of type two problems. OK, so this is the kind of the, the caveat now. So let's take a look at a possible problem that you might encounter, which turns out not to really be a problem, but just a matter of kind of understanding things. So this says uh, setting up a type two problem when given, quote unquote, products. So in this uh, question, what it basically says is it says a reaction is set up with one mole of H2 and one mole of I2 and is allowed to reach equilibrium. What is the equilibrium composition of the mixture? Now, here's the problem. The way this equation is written, the H2 and the I2, the, the information that you're being given about, your, your, the, the H2 and the I2, which is what you're being given information about, are products in this case, not reactants. Uh, in all of the previous examples we looked at, the information you got was about reactants. And so you might be saying, oh no, how would I solve this? This, this, doesn't, this doesn't work. Um, really, it doesn't make a difference because, you know, uh, the, the way an equilibrium is written, um, you have to kind of think of it this way, right? An equilibrium is just, a recogni is just recognizing that we have a forward reaction and a reverse reaction. With, whether it goes in one direction or the other, meaning if the reaction is written one way or if we flip it around, is really irrelevant. Because if we start with H2 and I2 and it goes to HI, that's perfectly fine. Or whether we start with 2HI and it goes to H2 and I2, that's also perfectly fine. Um, they're going to wind up coming to a similar equilibrium mixture with H2, I2, and HI. Uh, it's just it's sort of how we're deciding to write what is... It's just we're basically arbitrarily deciding which way is forward and which way is reverse. So there are two options for working through this. And there's a kind of a simple option, and then there's a little bit more nuanced option, but it gives you the same, uh, the same, the same sort of answer. So the, the way that I would recommend doing this, option one, is, well, you know, if they give you a, if, if they give you a reaction and they give you a K, but they give you information about the products, and we don't like that. We want to we want to have those as being reactants because that that makes more sense. Well, we can fix that very easily. What we do is we just flip the reaction, and when you flip the reaction, what that's going to do is we're going to take H two plus I two gives goes back and forth with H I, two H I, and when we do that, we're going to take the K, which is equal to zero point zero two zero one and we're going to invert it. So we're going to take all of this to the minus 1, and this is going to give us back our 49.7 that we had in the previous example. And now we're back to exactly where we started. So our K for this is equal to 49.7, this flipped around version. And we got that by just taking the inverse of the K for the reaction above. And that's exactly what we did with the properties of reactions. We could flip the reaction and, and get that. So that's one way of handling it. Now, another way of handling it, the second option, is to be a little careful with the ice table. And this, this will work if you do this. Uh, it will give you the correct answer. It's just a matter of being a little bit more nuanced in the, in the ice table. Um, now, the reason why I don't necessarily recommend doing this is because I think it's more straightforward to just have a, a kind of a procedure and if you encounter this, doing the simple flip of the equation will get you into a place where you can just follow your procedure without having to make large modifications, meaning you know, it just becomes an added step right at the beginning. However, if you feel comfortable with doing ice tables and you, know, you, you can kind of think on the fly, when you write the ice table for this one, um, and you know, let's just say that the volume here, just, just for simplicity's sake, let's just say that the volume is equal to one liter. Just, just for simplicity's sake, it really doesn't matter. I'm not going. We're not going to solve this all the way out, but you know, we want to have. Um, we, we do want to have concentrations. So when you set up the ice table here, we have H I, I two, and H two, and we have I C and E. Okay. So um, in this case, our initial is going to be zero molar. Our H two and I two is going to be one molar because we have one mole in one liter. 
And now we have to be a little careful in the change line. So in this case, um, we're going to have to think about our signs carefully. If we're starting with H2 and I2, then the reaction and the reaction is going in the reverse direction. What's going to happen is, is some of the I2 is going to go away and some of the H2 is going to go away. Basically, the reverse reaction is going to take place. So we're going to put our minuses over here on the right side and we're going to put our plus X on the left side because we're going to be making HI. In essence, we're just, think of the, we're just thinking of this thing as going in the reverse direction. And that is perfectly fine because it's exactly the same thing as what we were doing before. You're going to get the same answer. It's just that instead of starting with stuff on the left, we're starting with stuff on the right. So what we're going to get is we're going to get one molar minus X, one molar minus X, and we're going to get X. And what you're going to, what we're going to, when we plug this all into the equilibrium equation, our equilibrium equation is going to be K is equal to the concentration of H2 times the concentration of I2 divided by the concentration of HI squared. So when we plug in here, we're going to plug in 0 0.0201 is equal to uh, one molar minus X one molar minus x over um, x squared. Oh, I'm sorry, this should be plus, um, I, I missed uh, plus 2x because of the stoichiometry, uh, over uh, plus 2x squared. And so when you, when you solve this one, uh, you'll notice that this is exactly the same solution as the previous one, except everything is flipped over. The point, the point 0201 is the inverse of 49.7, and the uh, one molar minus x squared over two x squared is the inverse of the what we had in the the other solution. So again, this is going to give you the same exact answer, and it's going to be totally fine. It just is just it, everything is inversed. That's all. Now again, like I said, I, I kind of recommend this way of doing it because I think that this puts you in a in a relatively straightforward mindset where you're kind of putting the minuses and the pluses in places that make the most sense. Um, but, you know, you could do it either way, and that's why I created this video, was so that you can feel empowered that if you get something with products, that you recognize that there really is no such thing as products and reactants. It's more just things that are in equilibrium with each other.